The elite men's race got underway in Banyolas, Spain at midday, and with the air temperature approaching 30 degrees, it was going to be a hot outing for the 66 men on the start line. Leading the charge during the swim stage were the Russian brothers Dmitry and Igor Polyansky in their usual position at the head of the field. But they weren't able to gain much of an advantage by the end of the 1500 metres, and a long string of men were right on their heels, including Francis Lauren Vidal, who was the top ranked athlete in the field. Not off to a good start with the 2011 World Junior Champion, Lucas Verzbikas, who was 45th out of the water, and wasting no time in getting into his helmet and onto his bike. For the first lap, there were two main groups separated by just 15 seconds. And so by lap two, the chase group, which included Verzbikas, eventually caught the leaders to form a large lead pack of 54 athletes. And with all the pre-race favourites now in the lead pack, it was going to come down to the 10-kilometre run to decide the medals. With 54 athletes coming off the bikes at once, the athletes had to be careful not to get caught up with one another as they rushed to get their bikes racked and out onto the 10-kilometre run. The large group of men quickly started to spread out as they approached the far turn on lap one. The pre-race favourites, Vidal of France, Dmitry Polyansky and Lucas Verzbikas, took charge of the race early on. Among the strongest runners were Laurent Vidal of France and Dmitry Polyansky of Russia, but also in contention was the relative newcomer Lucas Verzbikas, who despite being only 19 years old, ranks among the strongest runners ever in the sport. By the end of lap one, it was clear that the medals were clearly going to be shared by these three, as Vidal, Polyansky and Verzbikas pulled away from the rest of the field. On lap two, Vidal and Verzbikas dropped Polyansky as the Russians started to suffer in the 30-degree heat. Then, with just one kilometer to go, Verzbikas found another gear to pull away from two-time Olympian Laurent Vidal and would increase his lead over the remainder of the run to claim gold in his first ever World Cup race. Vidal, with another strong performance, would take the silver medal, while Polyansky had just enough left in the tank to hang on for the bronze. As I said, if you came down to the run, although in T2 I was a little bit down, maybe 15 or so seconds, so I had a little catching up to do in the first lap, but then I just sat in, took off on the last lap and kept driving off and off, and then Vidal cut back up, and uh, I just got lucky, I got the kick, and I kicked him in the end. I'm pretty happy, you know, getting a podium is always, uh, it's always good. Obviously, I would I'd like to win, but, you know, c coming into the hard work, looking for the Olympic is pretty good. I mean, Lucas Vesbigas is a good runner, and I was feeling great, but, you know, Kisbert is in seven days, and I wasn't really sure about the sprint finish at the end, and you went quite quick, so I just uh, stay for second. I not want to stay all my power here, because after one week, I had racing in Kisbuchel, because I, I need I uh, stay in, in, ranking, in, in my ranking in, with CS Series and uh, London. I, I prepare in London, but I, Vidal and American guys, I can